Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Superintendent Kathleen Smith, and I am so pleased to be here today for the uh, Little Red House, Little Red Schoolhouse Spelling Bee, and this is, of course, our fifth graders uh, in the city of Brockton. So we're very pleased to have uh, everyone here today. I want to tell all the parents and relatives, um, this is such a special moment. I have talked to your children uh, upstairs, and I know you have done the same thing I have done, is to tell them that they are all winners being here today. They have studied hard. I can picture your homes going over spelling words and probably all that you're in the car doing that, and, and that's really fun. I just told your children a fun story that I probably tell the story every year, but indulge me. So I have two daughters, 34 and 32, and my 32-year-old at the time uh, is a fourth grader and makes the spelling bee. So we're all excited, just like you. We make sure she has a, a little new outfit, the family comes. She sits down, and before we get here, she says to me, I hope I'm not the first one out. And I said, well, again, you're all winners, and it's a spelling bee. You know, it happens, and you know, you're a winner. So she sits down, and her father and I were both teachers in the school system at the time, I have to tell you that. So she gets the word pencil, she's a fourth grader. And she says, as you have to do with the rules, you say the word, you spell it, and when you say it a last time, your turn is done, as I've explained to your children. So she says the word pencil, she says P-E-N-C-I-L, and her father and I are breathing a sigh of relief, and she says to the judges, can I start again? So we're like, what the heck is she going to say now? <laughs> so she says P-E-N-C-I-L-E. E, pencil, and we are such bad parents, we start chuckling to ourselves. <laughs> so anyway, we do talk about it to this day. I told her this morning I was coming here, and she wishes you all well. So I hope you have a great day. Let me start by uh, introducing uh, our uh, Spelling Bee winners in fifth grade. I hope I do well with the names, I, I tried. Um, from the Angelo School, first I have Jocelyn Protentis. Jocelyn, please stand up. I have from the Baker School, uh, Mashari Preston. Mishari. I have from the Brookfield School, Isley Mendez. From the Davis School, Julian Smith. From the Downey School, Ariel St. Louis. From the George School, Joy Favors. And I have from the Gilmore School, Kayla Layla Robinson. I have from the Hancock School, Armin Arostamian. <laughs> from the Kennedy School, Ryan Sonat. <laughs> and from Trinity, we have Katerina Lazat. <laughs> Just to go over with everybody the rules, um, and also let me introduce my wonderful judges. I have a teacher at the Kennedy School, longtime teacher in the Brockton Public Schools, Maureen Donnarumma. <laughs> Bridgewater State University student, uh, Jamie Purnell. <laughs> and Bridgewater State University graduate, Kevin O'Connell. <laughs> I also would like to give you a round of applause to Sue O'Connell, and I have to tell you, she has been a teacher in the Brockton Public Schools, very involved with children and the community, and certainly the Little Red Schoolhouse, and she's retiring this year. Please give her a round. We also have Dr. Julianne Andrade, who puts this together all the time. I'm looking out in the audience. I have our principal, Carol McGrath, from the Raymond School, longtime educator. Principal Brian Rogan hiding down in the corner. I see teacher Claire Sheehan from the Kennedy. Claire. I see city counselor from uh, Counselor at Lodge, Bob Sullivan. And I'm not sure if I've missed any of the elected officials. I'm going to ask family to stand up so we can cheer for you also. Okay, guys, 
We're ready? So I'm going to go over the rules for everybody here. So the contestant is going to be instructed to say the word, spell it, and say it again. <clears throat> the contestant may request the pronouncer to repronounce the word to define it or use it in a sentence. And unfortunately, I have a New England Boston accent. <laughs> so I try to do my best. Uh, judges are available and they will provide uh, definitions and sentences. Judges, I'm relying on you for that. Uh, upon missing the spelling of the word, we ask the contestant to sit down at that point. I will start with all of them standing up. Um, the same word on the list is then given to the next contestant. If they don't spell it correctly, they sit down. And sometimes that happens. We sometimes get a really tough word that wipes everybody out. And at that point, we actually have to go to another word and they all get to stand up again. So that's not unusual. Um, if all remaining contestants are eliminated by a specific word, then all should be given a new word and we start to proceed uh, as I just mentioned. And in order to be declared the winner, the student must correctly spell the last word that was missed by the previous contestant, and then they have to spell an additional word for themselves. So those are the rules of our spelling bee, and we will begin, and I'm gonna start with Jocelyn. So I need everybody standing up. Okay. So Jocelyn, the word is able. Able, A-B-L-E, able. Mashari, no. your word is acoustics. Acoustics. A C U S I S T I C S acoustics. Isley, acoustics. Acoustics. A C O U S T I C S. Acoustics. That's correct. The next word, Julian, is advertisement. Advertisement. A D V E R T I S E M P N T. Advertisement. Right. Ariel. <coughs> Aftermath. Aftermath. A F T E R M A T H. Aftermath. Joy. Afternoon. Afternoon. A F T E R N O O N. Afternoon. Kaza. Afterthought. <laughs> A-F-T-E-R-T-H-O-U-G-H-T, afterthought. Armin, apartment. Apartment, A-P-R-T-M-E-N-T, apartment. What? Ryan, apartment. Katerina. Awkward. Awkward. A W K W A R D. Awkward. Jocelyn, back to you. Beginner. Beginner. B E G I. Um, can I start that over? You always can, unless you spell it at the end. You can go right back. Okay. B E G I N E R beginner. This is Isley, right? Isley, the word is believe. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Beginner. Beginner. B E G I N N E R. Beginner. The next word is boundary. Boundary. B O U N D A R Y. Boundary. <coughs> the next word, burglar. Burglar. B U R G A L A R. Burglar. You have to sit down, honey. It's incorrect. Burglar. Burglar. B-U-R-G-U-L-A-R. Burglar. Burglar. B-U-G. May I please start over? Yes. B U L G E R L A R burglar. Can I remind everybody, you can ask for words in sentences and definitions. So if you need words in sentences or definitions, Burglar. Burglar. B U R G O A R. Burglar. That's correct. Katarina. Constant. Can you say that in a sentence? Would you like me to do it? Sure. Uh, it is a constant reminder from your parents to do your homework. Constant. C-O-N-S-T-A-N-T. -T. Constant. <coughs> the next one is crouton. Crouton. C-R-U-T-O-N. Crouton. The word is crouton. Crouton. C R O U T O N. Crouton. That's correct. Thank you. This is Ryan, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ryan. The word is currency. Currency. C U R R E N C Y. Currency. Good. Next word, Katerina, is delight. 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 D E L I G H T. Delight. Good. The next word is duplicate. Duplicate. D U P L I C A T E. Duplicate. The next word is cycle. Cycle. C Y C L E. The next word is customer. Customer. C U S T O M E R. Customer. Good. The next word is detrimental. Detrimental. D E T R I M E N T A L. Detrimental. Next word is devotion. Devotion. D E V O T I O N. Devotion. The next word is disguise. Disguise. D I S G U I S E. Disguise. The next word is <coughs> distance. Distance. D I S T A N C E, distance. The next word is dominant. Dominant. D O M. 
Bless you. I am A N T Dominant. Yes. The next word is eager. Eager. E A G E R. Eager. Change Kleenex and you all set? No. Okay. The next word is education. Education. E D U. C A T I O N, education. Good. The next word is encourage. Encourage. E N C O U R A G E, encourage. Okay. Make sure that you're you're talking as loud as you can so the judges can hear you. Okay. The next word, and we're back to Katerina, is extravagant. Can you put it in a sentence? This, this, spelling, this spelling bee is an extravagant get-together. <laughs> extravagant. E-X-T-R-A-V-A-G-A-N-T. Extravagant. Good. The next one is facility. Facility. F-A-C-I-L-I-T-Y. Facility. Back to Ryan. Ryan, the word is guardian. Guardian. G U A R D I A N. Guardian. Katerina, the next word is household. Household. H O U S E H O L D. Household. The next word is industry. Industry. I N U S T R Y. Industry. All set? Okay. No, I didn't think so. I'm sorry. I, I was looking for. He missed a letter, correct? Yes. All right. He missed the D? I thought so. I just wasn't sure. I didn't know if I didn't hear. Okay, Ryan, the next word is industry. industry. Oh, I've got to throw that out. I have to throw that out. I'm sorry. I did. I said the letter. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to the next word. I think that's fair. Okay, so the next word is invention. Invention. I N V E N T I O N. Invention. That's correct. The next word, Katerina, is junction. Junction. J U N C T I O N. Junction. Correct. The next word, Ryan, is laborer. Can I have it in a sentence? There is a laborer working outside to put the new street down. Can you repeat the word? Laborer. You certainly can. Say it to yourself. You can. L A B O R E R, labor. That's correct. The next word is language. Can you repeat that again? Language. Can you define it? The language that we are all speaking is English. Language. L A N G U A G E. Language. Good. The next word is manageable. Manageable. M A N A G E. 
A B L E, manageable. That's correct. The next word is management. Can you say it again? Management. Management. M A N A G E M E N T. Management. That's correct. The next word is medallion. Can you use that in a sentence? He so wore a oh. medallion on, the, on his chain around his neck. Medallion. M E D A L. That is not correct. So, Katerina, the word is medallion. Medallion. M E D A L L I O N. Medallion. That is correct. Now, again, she has to spell another word to be declared the winner. The next word to be declared the winner is plantation. Plantation. P L A N T A T I O N. Plantation. That is correct. Congratulations, everyone. Good job. All of you who have represented your school and your grade level will be receiving a certificate from the Little Red Schoolhouse that's suitable for framing. Um, something very important. I want to thank you all and your families for being part of history with us today. We've held this for many, many, many years and you are going down as part of a Brockton history historical spelling bee. So, um, first of all, I would like to award first place to Katerina Lazat. You're receiving, this is a book certificate for Paperback Junction in Easton and a first place ribbon. Congratulations. You're welcome. In second place, I'm awarding to Ryan Sinnott. Julian Smith. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I hope we'll see you again here next year. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.